My name is Philip Waller. I'm one of the portfolio management team for the JP Morgan Global Core Real Assets Fund, or what we also call JARA. I've been with JP Morgan for just under a decade, and I've been involved with JARA since its inception in 2019. The UK investment trust market is very well established. It's been around for over 150 years. But what we have seen is over the last 10 years or so, an increasing focus on private assets. These are alternative assets such as private equity, but also importantly for JARA, real assets, which we really define as infrastructure, real estate, and transportation. Here at JP Morgan, we've been managing private assets, and in particular real assets, for over 50 years. And so with JARA, what we saw was the opportunity to bring together the well-established investment trust structure, a market-leading investment trust team, and our very well-established alternatives platform to offer something to investors which is really quite unique. By benefiting from the scale and breadth of JP Morgan's 200 billion plus alternatives platform, we're able to build a unique portfolio with JARA with over a thousand private assets that can really act as a cornerstone allocation for investors within their portfolios. That cornerstone quality comes in a couple of ways. Firstly, from its diversification across the real asset market. So we are diversified across infrastructure, transportation, and real estate, allowing investors to benefit from the diversified solution within one vehicle. We are also global in nature, and importantly focused on core assets. So these are assets that are typically, in our view, higher quality in nature, and deriving the majority of their return from high quality, predictable, often contracted income streams. We're able to benefit from the scale and breadth of an over 200 billion alternatives platform, and it allows us to build quite a unique portfolio in terms of scale and diversification with over a thousand private assets across over 20 different countries. We've also got unique asset exposure with assets that are institutional in nature. JARA's global diversification is one of its unique aspects. We have over 50% in North America, around 20% in Europe and UK, and around 30% in the developed markets of the Asia Pacific region. The benefit of this to investors is it allows them to really diversify what is often quite a UK-centric part of their portfolio, diversifying some of the key geopolitical risks that are prevalent in the real asset space. JARA's portfolio at a high level has 50% of its investments in global real estate, primarily focused on the US and Asia Pacific markets. The other 50% of the portfolio is in other real assets, again primarily infrastructure, transportation assets and also real estate debt. On a look-through basis we also have significant diversification by sector and again these can evolve depending on the opportunity set. So for example, looking at some sectors that have increased in exposure since launch, we have the industrial and logistics sector. These are assets that play a very important role in storing and transferring goods across countries. We also have an increasing allocation to the utility sector within infrastructure that can help provide water and electricity to households and businesses. And then there's also energy logistics, uh, an allocation that has increased quite significantly in 2022 as energy security has been an important part of policy. And this includes assets such as liquid natural gas carriers that can move natural gas across regions. Having launched in September 2019, JARA has had to weather a number of key global events. COVID-19, the Russia-Ukraine conflict, and the significant spike in inflation that we saw in 2022. These events really impacted all asset markets. However, within JARA, we've been able to deliver on the investment portfolio that we set out to provide investors at launch. We've been able to provide the target income return that we set out in our prospectus. And importantly, we've been able to provide diversification during periods of significant market stress that a lot of investors have seen in other asset markets. Going forward, 
I would say that really Jara's portfolio and placing an investor's portfolio is as important as ever. Coral assets have historically been very strong diversifiers, therefore their role is very, very important for investors and Jara's global and significantly diversified portfolio can be a really robust addition for investors. Real assets are in many ways the key building blocks of productive societies. They are places where we live and where we work. They can provide essential services such as water and electricity to households and businesses. And they can move goods around the world. So because of this role that they can play in society, it makes sense that they are often exposed to and quite important towards a number of the key trends that we see. And this often plays itself out within Jara's portfolio. So for example, if we look at the energy transition, renewable energy is a big part of that and it is an increasing exposure within our portfolio, things like solar farms and wind farms. If we look at the ever evolving supply chain and the acceleration of e-commerce, our logistics centers that can store goods and our container ships that move goods around the world, are again, play an important role in that and therefore are an increasing part of our portfolio. Finally, the society that we live in today is ever evolving and therefore we do expect a number of the asset classes and assets we invest in to continually evolve as well. So for example if we look at data centres that may not have been an asset we'd have looked to invest in five or ten years ago but as it has become an increasingly important part of the way we work and the way we live it is now very much an investable core real asset for us. Mm -hmm.